Hello and welcome to the September edition of Pork Talk. Over the past month, there have been growing concerns from producers surrounding margins, with feed and bedding prices on the rise. Today, we're going to examine how production costs have panned out so far in 2018, and then consider what this might mean for the latter portion of the year. The latest AHDB estimates indicate that in the second quarter of 2018, total pig production costs were the highest they've been since early 2014, at an estimated 150 pence per kilogram. The EU spec APP averaged 151 pence per kilogram during the quarter, so average margins were eroded to just 1 pence per kilogram, which equates to around a pound a head. As you can see, margins have been weakening since the latter half of last year, thanks to a combination of falling pig prices and rising production costs. Looking at the change between Q1 and Q2 this year, the most obvious influencing factor has been the higher cost of feed, which accounted for around 60% of total production costs. Feed costs are influenced by both feed prices and physical performance, but unsurprisingly, it has been the rising prices that have particularly added to costs in recent months. Finishing feed prices seem to have particularly increased, though the impact of this has been mitigated by producers moving towards using less finisher feed over the 12 months to June this year. While this has had a detrimental effect on di daily live weight gain, feed conversion ratios have actually improved. Conversely, but perhaps related to this, the data suggests rear pigs have actually been fed more feed and taken to higher weights over the same period. This is having a longer spell in the rearing unit. This has, however, weakened the performance of the rearing herd. Longer rearing times have a knock-on detrimental effect on the number of pigs that can pass through a unit per year, which then raises the finance cost per pig. When this is combined with a higher post-weaning mortality rate, probably the result of the poor conditions this winter, this means finance costs have been the second largest contributor to rising production costs between Q1 and Q2. Looking forwards, further increases in straight prices will mean feed prices have since escalated further, and it seems likely they will remain higher than in recent years over the coming months, reflecting the challenges to harvest yields this year across the UK and Europe. Given that producer margins on average were already extremely narrow, it seems probable that, on a full cost basis, some losses may be a feature of the pig market in the coming months. While it is perhaps difficult to imagine much uplift in the finished pig price, given increasing global production levels, management decisions on farm can help mitigate the upcoming challenges. The HDB Knowledge Hub contains a series of articles to help producers make the most of feed purchased. Follow the link in the comments below to find out more. Also, look out for more up-to-date analysis to help producers make effective buying and management decisions over the next few months in Pig Market Weekly, which you can subscribe to by emailing the address below.